Yo, what's up, guys? It's Bubba Diego Josie, and back at it again with another sneak review, and this time on the Nike Dripster Gator ISPA. Now these shoes drop the Nike uh, Nike sneakers now for retail price of 220 US dollars, and they're a part of Nike's ISPA line. We tried to reimagine and reinvent and experiment with all kinds of designs, and these are just one of their uh, creations. Now, at first glance, they may look like a weird pair of runners, but once you get into the detail, that's when the shoe really blossoms and shines. But as we're through here, let's first get into the box. Now the shoes came in this brown cardboard box with Nike ISPA branding all over. All across the shoe, you can well the shoe box. You can see there is ISP acronym, which stands for Improvise, Scavenge, Protect, and Adapt printed all over the box. And something I really enjoy about the box is the fact that it looks so futuristic. I know it's a run the mill standard cardboard Nike box, but it's all little details around the box and um, just a small detail to make it a little more futuristic. Either that or I'm just looking way too far into it. And if you take a look at the tag on the side of the box, you can see the official colorway of the shoe is Stomach White, Black, and White. Now getting to the shoe. I had to call these a transformer because they have two forms. And what I mean by that? Well, y'all buy it in a couple minutes. So the regular base form, if you take a look at the outer, at the outer side of the shoe, you can see the toe box is made of a netted nylon material with accompanying white accents and a black Nike swoosh on the top of the toe box. Going to the middle, we have this black strap that goes all around the shoe with velcro that houses the eyelids used for lacing system. And now all the way at the top of the lacing system, if you want, you can lay these as far up as you want. Now with the way the lacing system for this shoe works, if you want to, if you can tie, you can lay these all the way up. If you want to, all the way up here, I wouldn't recommend it because you might cut circulation up to your ankle. But if you want to do that, it's a possibility. On the top, we have a black loop with Nike ISPA tag on the side. Moving on to the midsole of the shoe, we have an almost eggshell. I want to say colored midsole with two types of foam making it up. The first being the stock Nike foam midsole you'll find on most Nike sneakers, kind of like the Roshi one foam. And second being is almost like marble foam that sticks off on the sides of the uh, sides of the shoe. And on the back there is orange flags and support tab. On the outside of the shoe have a black and translucent rubber outsole with this weird traction pattern made of triangles and circles. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure with these traction, with this type of traction, you're not slipping on anything anytime soon. And in the translucent section we can see the Nike and Ice Pay logo right behind it. Now to the part of the shoe that everyone has been eyeing. On the back we have this little pouch with a zipper on the side. And if we unwrap it, give me one second. I got you right now. The little kangaroo pouch. We can see what hides behind this is a long, really long, ba 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 bum, right orange shroud. So when, I, so when I first looked at this shoe and I first read about it, I guess the appeal of this shoe was it's gonna be kind of be like a pseudo rain boot runner type shoe because with this shroud made of nylon material is waterproof well rather resistant for the most part so you can use it in the rain anything you want to do and to be quite honest with you it really reminds me a lot of when i don't even remember back like 2015 2016 when the kd8 first dropped kd wore the kd8 but they made a game version exclusive where they where the shroud on the shoe was really long up to his knees and they made him look like Daffy Duck. And this shoe reminds me a lot of it right now. With the way this shroud is bright orange and goes all the way up. But the shroud closes with this velcro material in the middle. So when it starts raining, you can just whip these bad boys into second gear. And you'll be straight. Now in terms of comfort, I'm going to have to keep a bug. They're not the most comfortable uh, shoe in the world. Mostly because these shoes didn't come with an insole. So most of the comfort just comes from the outside of the shoe. And it's only so far. Well, foam can only take you so far in comfort. So... If you're gonna looking for these, you can find a cheap pair maybe on StockX or eBay because looking around for these shoes, they're not going for that higher price. But just be wary that the like, comfort, after a while, it might start to hurt your feet a little bit. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the sneakers in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing for more content, share this video with your friends and family, it really helps my channel grow. Links to my socials, my Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch will all be, lo will be linked. Locked. Link down in the description. Peace, love, positivity. 
I'm Bodega, and as always, I'm out. Peace.